Hey folks, we're back here with Random Questions at Life's a Bluff. We're here with Andy Black, who just polished off possibly one of the most difficult heads-up opponents in the uh, in the uh, WSOP Heads-Up Championship. His hair just got in his eyes, so he, I think he missed right a hand or something like that. Could have been a little tough, but Jesus Ferguson is gone, and Andy Black continues. How many more stand in your way between you and the uh, Heads-Up Bracelet? Uh, I don't know, there's 32 left, so, what up? so we started with 256, so... Yeah. But you don't even need to play all of them. You, you know, other people not get most of them. It's true enough. So you get like six more games tops. I, I, I can't even. I, I don't know. I think I it's five, 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 five. Five. Yeah. five. I don't, I don't want to hurt my brain trying to figure that yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> I always get confused when you go like 32, 16, 8, and you can't remember whether when you got to 8, that that's 2 or 3. Two or three. Yeah. It's, it's tricky. It's tricky. At some point you got to break it down. Yeah, so. yeah. It's very mathematical. They handle it. Well, random questions are just that, they're random questions, and what we're going to do is shoot these by you, and you can just work with it and tell me what you want to know, and tell me to just blow off and go to the next one if you Get don't like the question. Get All right. over the question. <laughs> First question is this, do toll booth workers have to pay a toll to get to work? Uh, only on other people's toll bridges. <laughs> Would you be able to spend all day at a theme park by yourself? Uh, absolutely. It would probably help if I was allowed to dress up as one of the characters. Could work. Which one would you do that at? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. All right. Um, if you were a crayon color, what color would you be? Yellow. Yellow. All right. Um, what's under your bed? The floor. All right. How do you put your pants on? Uh, well, I take my trousers off first, and then I put my pants on. It's for having an English to English translation. <laughs> I'll ask you about your socks next, and we can really get funny with it. Well, it? you can see that you can ask me about my socks as long as as much as you want. There isn't any. <laughs> what is the worst car you've ever owned? I can't drive. Really? At all? Actually, no. I do own a car. My ex uses it, so that must be the worst car and the best car because it's the only car I've ever owned. But Fair. I've never driven it. Fair enough. You have an iPod? Yeah. What's the most embarrassing song you have on your iPod? Uh, no, I think all of the songs are good. I wouldn't describe any of them as embarrassing. Nothing on there that... All 1,567 of them. There's not an embarrassing aspect to any of them. All right. Explain the balance between Eminem and your personal philosophy. Uh, well, I don't know. Do I have a... Is there such a thing as a personal philosophy with me? I'm not really sure, you know. Um, Eminem... Or your is, religious uh, philosophy, if that makes sense. I don't know. He seems. He seems. Um, I think. I think. Think in any walk of life, people. Uh, it's a job to try and break free of the mold while connected to those around you. So I think he achieves that in his in his arena. And I, I basically like to do it. Okay. What do you like on your bagel? Uh, smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. That works. Capers and cream cheese. Easy enough. Kentucky Derby or Indy 500? Indy 500. Indy 500. Are you an F1 fan? Not really, but I occasionally, occasionally. occasionally. Uh, no. What's the strangest sporting event you've ever been to? Uh, strangest sporting event I've ever been to? Uh, well, I know the strangest one I've ever watched on television is that hot dog eating championship, which I think is truly excellent, you know. Yeah. But there's also this uh, sporting event, maybe it's not a sporting event, but this is one when I was in college where you'd try and eat, you'd eat all sorts of disgusting things, yeah, and it's whoever's left, last before they puke, and so they went through all these disgusting things like sheep's testicles and oil, and anyway, we were down to the two finalists, and they had to drink, you know, four cans of beer backwards, you know, upside down, and eventually one of them just, you know, after about the third can of beer, just vomited and it's the biggest vomit I've ever seen. It really like this went you know, there was turb there was like rocket vomit. So you've never seen anything like it. This one <laughs> out of that, like, the exercise. Ten feet, Just yeah. Ten feet. So I mean I suppose that's a sporting event. If focus is sporting event, that's it. ESPN covers it. It counts. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your pocket? In my pocket. 
money and a room key. Hmm. How much money do you carry on you when you come to a $10,000 buy-in heads up amount? Uh, about $50. There you go. Too bad it's not in pounds, you'd feel a little bit richer. But, you yeah, know. dollars aren't. The dollars are just are, are barely worth more than toilet paper, apparently. Getting like that. We can't even make fun of the Canadian money anymore. Yeah. It's a little bit tough. Favorite animal at the zoo? Uh, favorite animal, animal at the zoo? Tiger. Tigers. Alright. What movie are you ashamed that you like? I'm not ashamed I like any movie, same as the music tragedy, you know? Do you like I it? I mean, other like people it? might be ashamed that I like certain movies, you know? So, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what's the movie No, I can't answer that. Okay, fair enough. What's the most boring trip you've ever taken? Boring trip. Mississippi. Pretty boring in Mississippi. It can be. It can be. I'm thinking of a Mississippi strip that would probably be pretty boring. <laughs> and playing tunica? Yeah. 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 What uh, family member just drives you the craziest? Uh, uh, my brother probably. We don't really speak, so I haven't even got to the point of him driving me crazy. And, uh, you know, if I spoke, if I spoke to him, it would, that would really drive me crazy. So I'd like to get to that point. At some point. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get to that point. <laughs> to work over the mountains to get to the plane. Yeah. <laughs> dog person or cat person? Uh, I've become more of a dog person. I was brought up to hate dogs. I was brought up to stalk dogs and throw bricks at them, you know? And my father was just too bad now, you know? It was a bit weird like that, you know? Uh, we'd stalk out and throw bricks at them, you know? And this is, I was only a little kid, you know? Um, so I didn't know any better. I just thought that was a thing to do. Um, but uh, yeah. probably no, I'm probably a cat person, but I like dogs more than I used to. Good deal. Do you like board games? Games in general. I used to, but I think I think it's funny. One of the funny things that's happened to me from poker is I just don't feel like playing any other games. You know, uh, I'm, I'm usually a bit tired, and I, I get over competitive with games. So I, I don't get as much fun out of them as I used to. I used to love board games and other games. No, I just play poker and play myself. Your dispute with your brother isn't over a game of Monopoly, is it? No, my brother wouldn't play those kind of things. It's, it's more like we just have absolute zero in common. It's a tough one. Strangest way you've ever made money? Strangest way? Uh, lifting grapes. Yeah. And I, it was when I was like 19 or 20, lifting grapes. And lifting in the British sense? So no, lifting, like <laughs> carrying. Yeah. Okay. And I always remembered they used to give the donkeys a rest, but they wouldn't give us a rest. <laughs> I always remember that donkey getting a rest. Do you win, Mike? Yeah. Mike Mizrahi advances. Yeah. You may have him next, who knows? No, I don't. Uh, they don't. Okay. okay. If you could eliminate from existence, never created a single thing, any band or musician, who would it be? Again, it's the same answer as the music of the drum crushes. <laughs> it's all good. It's whatever you like. Most embarrassing so, uh, social faux pas you've ever committed? Well, the one I like the most, right, which is pretty bad, yeah. But, uh, so it wasn't embarrassing, but... It, Looking back, I mean, I can't believe I did it. Was uh, there was uh, when my son was born, I kind of went away, and I was living in England a lot of the time, so I wasn't I wasn't around so much when he was initially born, yeah. And uh, I arrived at the christening, yeah, you know, I split up from his mother, you know, with a T-shirt, you know, saying co-creators. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are many people feeling your pain right now. <laughs> Pretzels, sticks, twists, or big old doughy I things. Pretzels. No I really pretzels. It's like cardboard. It's, I don't know how. I mean, it really, you know, maybe that is, that says something deeper about America, the fact that they like these damn things. I mean, they're blame it on the Germans. Yeah. Well, no, no, you can't blame it on the Germans. <laughs> if you could put just about everything else in the Germans, but not that. Not. <laughs> if you could put one person into any sports hall of fame, who would it be? Uh, Rocky Wilson. Yeah, he was one of the most famous darts players of all 
the time. And he was as wide as he was tall. Yeah? And he, and he was like, his, his style was like this. He kind of, like this, while drinking pints. And he won the World Championship once. And uh, Sid Waddell, the great dart commentator, used to sort of say, you know, he, he, would, he would comment. And uh, the, the dart kind of arena, like the pitch as such, is nicknamed the hockey. So he could say, it's jockey at the hockey. But that was kind of like funny, you know. So definitely jockey would have to be up there. Something that has to be said in the right accent as well, yeah, I think, so. to get that one, that, that one together. Strangest deja vu moment you've ever had? Oh, I've had lots of those, but I did a lot of acid, so. Somebody's asked you this question before. What? Somebody's asked you this question before. <laughs> this, this feels very familiar right now. <laughs> Most embarrassing thing you've ever done on a date? Most of the dates I've done would fall into that category. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Favorite TV game show of all time? Uh, TV game show. Uh, TV game show. Maybe Blankety Blank. Never heard of it. Is it a British game show? Blankety Blank. Blankety Blank. Blankety Blank. Blankety Blank. Blank, -blank. I'm drawing a Blankety Blank here. I can't <laughs> What's your opinion on spandex? I don't know what it is. The really stretchy lycra stuff people wear to work out. Rest? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Windows or air conditioning? I went there with my head air conditioning. All right. It's one of the harder things about being here in Vegas, you know, if you're in a hotel. I mean, you've got this wonderful view, but you, well, you can't open the window. The first pier is the fact that you're worried that people will jump out. Fair enough. Now this is pretty, pretty. How are we doing? Are we near the end? We're very near the end. Okay. People ask that question a lot. Why Get on with it. <laughs> if you could ask one question to someone before sitting down to playing, and this is kind of apropos considering it's heads up, to sit down to play them heads up. If you could ask them one question to get a read on them, what would that question be? Uh, how long have you been playing? Fair enough. Now, there's a small lightning round just to finish this out. It's real quick, it's real easy. The concept behind this is one of the two people I'm going to mention, you have to play heads up for your entire bankroll. So the reasoning for either one can be your own, it's no All big right, deal. So you just choose one of them, yeah. You just pick one of the two. Easy, easy. Uh, heads up, the Incredible Hulk or Iron Man? Incredible Hulk. All right. Indiana Jones or Han Solo? Han Solo. Han Solo. All right. The Dalai Lama or Charles Manson? The Pope or his hat? It's hat. <laughs> Alright. Mickey Mouse or Ronald McDonald? Ronald McDonald. Alright. Bill Gates or Donald Trump? Bill Gates. Alright. I want to take back the... I want to play the Dalai Lama. I don't want to play Charles Manson. Fair enough. So Fair enough. if I win, I, I win. If I lose, I win. So that's fine. That's a beautiful deal. Martha Stewart or Rosie O'Donnell? Or is that pitching? Rosie O'Donnell. All right. Anyway, she's in jail anyway, isn't she? So it no, she's out of jail now. Yeah, it's white collar crime. She got out pretty quick. All right. I'm kind of stuck because I'm not sure if you'll actually know these folks running around the corner. All right. Jerry Seinfeld or John Stewart? I don't know the second one, so I'll go for the second one. Okay, John Stewart. Uh, Jim Carrey or John Candy? John Candy. All right. Name the two toughest Irish players in existence today. Two toughest Irish players. Donald Day and uh, Don Fagan. Which one would you rather play heads up for your entire bankroll? Donald Day. Donald Day. Well, you have now survived the lightning round. You survived random questions with life's a bluff. Andy, thanks for jumping right out of an event and into an interview. Pleasure. You're a complete sport.